Now, closer towards home today, we were at 71 degrees. The average high this time of the year is 60, so we were well above average. And as we go through the next few days, we're still going to be seeing temperatures above average. Uh, sunny and pleasant highs in the 60s tomorrow, small cool down. But then into Thursday and Friday, we have temperatures back into the low 70s. But this weekend, a strong cold front is on the way. It will drop your temperatures through the day on Saturday, and with it also the potential of some rain and maybe some isolated stronger storms developing. On top of that, this is what we're dealing with as far as the pollen count is concerned. Uh, it is going into the high category on Friday, and that's because our winds are going to be more southerly. We have warmer air in place so that uh, pollen is able to hang out a little bit higher in the atmosphere, and that's why it's going up into the high category, dropping a bit on Saturday. Then I make up that as we go into Sunday, it's going to be dropping behind that frontal boundary. You can see on the first alert satellite and radar at 1019 tonight, we are remaining nice and quiet. High pressure is continuing to build its way down towards the southern plains, and as it does so, it keeps us nice and quiet as we go through the next couple couple days in this dry air, this lighter brown color that you see right there of the water vapor imagery showing the dry air that's in place. It heats up, cools down pretty fast. So today we made it into the low 70s. Now what's going on as we go into Friday and Saturday, we have this upper level low making its way through the southern plains. Cloud cover creases Friday night and then into Saturday. We see some rain developing for Saturday morning into the afternoon hours that rains around and then behind that area of low pressure. We have the cooler air settling in. So warm temperatures as we go into Friday, then into Saturday, we have the front moving through temperatures behind the front dropping, but ahead of it, some storms are going to be possible and then much cooler air on Sunday is in the forecast. Speaking of those storms, at least for right now, there's about a 15% probability of some of those storms from about to Delta County down to Navarro County and East reaching severe limits. So we'll continue to keep our eyes on that. Right now we're sitting at 50 degrees at DFW with a northeast wind at eight miles per hour at 45 in Den to 45 in McKinney to 49 in Mesquite uh, through the remainder of the evening hours down to 44 degrees by three overnight tonight down to near the freezing mark or very close to that in some spots your first alert seven day forecast then shows we have temperatures up to 76 degrees friday saturday that rain chances around 20 percent and then look at sunday only 56 degrees after we start out at 37 for the bmw dallas Marathon.